He's also got some weird wisdom here. Mm -hmm. Like, so I call it monotonic mastery, which is brutal standards. Let's see how his explanation, I'll explain what it means. Luke, we have what they grow beyond. That is the true burden of all masters. So we are what they grow beyond. That is the true burden of all masters. So that means, that means to be a master, your student has to become better than you. Yep. But like, that, so that means that your, your mastery, your students always have to become better. Like there can never mm -hmm. be a generation that's just not as good as the previous master. Cause that means that guy, the previous generation was not a master. So, but it also that means that in order to be a master, all I need is for my student to do better than me. That's right. That's so right? I, I suck at drawing. I've never practiced it, never tried. I'm not interested in it. If but I would teach, teach some, if I taught somebody how to draw and then they get better than me, which is going to happen rapidly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm a master. They grew beyond me. That's right. So like when I was when I was a kid, I was ten years old. I was teaching like the neighborhood kid. Like he was he was two years younger than me, so eight years old. I was teaching him how base play baseball. But then after that season, I never played again. But then he did, and he got real good, mm -hmm. which basically means I'm a master at baseball. You're a master. In fact, you're his master, and the reason he was successful is because you. That's right. That's the burden of mastery. Is that my student got better than me? That's right. It's just a, fact, it's such a brutal standard. Like your your student has to be better than you to be a master. That's the weight it, you carry. That's the burden you carry. And that's true. That's very emotional. It feels great. But it's like every student has to be better. Otherwise, you like nullify your previous master's mastery. Like brutal. It's so hard. That's right. That's right. You would start In gaming fact, the system. You start the gaming system <laughs> where, like I'm going to be better by my master just a little bit so I can give my student some wiggle room so <laughs> they, they have space right. to grow. This is like when you're at a, when you're at a job and they do like the... Uh, Every year they do some sort of yearly review and you have to create your goals and That's so right. you sort of game your goals so that you can always surpass them when the year review comes around. So they're, right. they're playing these games probably. Like I could probably Jedi. get a, I could probably pull off a 10% growth, but I'm gonna make it a 2%. That way I have 8% for next year. Like that's, that's what that's they're right. doing. That's right. That's right. And if I'm going to train somebody, you know, I don't, I don't want to get too good because then they won't be able to surpass me and I don't want them to get too good. Because then they're who they're their training student. won't be good enough. And I need a chain right. of mastery. Right. I'm just going to game the system. <laughs> is this what Every, happened? Bureaucratic rot inside the Jedi order? Is that what happened? Race to the bottom. Race to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best master. But you're terrible. But I'm the best. I'm the best master because I was so bad and made my student better. But better. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Like, look, even, the, even that guy, he's better than me. Master. I would just be really terrible at everything I could and teach people <laughs> like Sorry. teach people like, oh, here's this origami crane, isn't it? The edges are all messed up. Like you yeah. try. Yeah. And then they get better than you. You're like, master. I'm like, ah, I'm a master. 